Hello my fellow artisans, welcome back to the Artisan Electrics YouTube channel and today I've got a challenge for you and for myself. It's a bit of fun, the one hour consumer unit change. Now the reason this has come up is that recently I got a call from a, a landlord who said that their tenant uh, agency, their uh, letting agents, were offering a 120 quid consumer unit change, including materials and labour. And that made me think, okay, the only way to do that is to do it in an hour and fit a rubbish consumer unit. So today I'm not going to be fitting a rubbish consumer unit, I'm going to be fitting a lovely Hager consumer unit because my standards are always up here, as you know. But what I'm going to do is challenge myself to see if it's possible to do a consumer unit change in one hour. So it is now 8.57. So I'm going to start the clock at 9 o'clock and I'm going to join you back at 10 a.m. and we'll see how far I've got, okay? As always, if you enjoy my videos, hit a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and let's get into it. So this is the current consumer unit. The landlords asked us to change it even though it was not really necessary. We could have just sealed up this hole in the top but we gave a quote for both options and they went with the whole hog, which is nice. So it's quite a small one, seven circuits, uh, five of which aren't RCD protected at the moment and two of which are. So I'm going to rip out this old board, fit a Hager VML112 SPD consumer unit with RCD, RCBOs. Um, and it should be fairly straightforward because these cables are coming in the top here. The tails are coming in the bottom. I don't think there's anything coming in the back. So it should be pretty straightforward. But let's jump on the time lapse and we'll check back in at 10 a.m. and see how far I've got. Right, so that's taken me 13 minutes to strip the consumer unit off the wall and get just the bare cabling all labelled up and everything. Um, so, I'm going to mount the new board up now and see how long it takes to get that on the wall and then start connecting everything in. Right, well, I failed miserably. <laughs> I'm one hour in and I've got the trunking in, cables in the back, just started dressing these cables now, but, um, you know, I'm way off. Um, it just, there's no way, no way you can do this neatly and properly in an hour. Uh, and, you know, not even started on testing or anything like that. So, the whole 120 pound consumer unit change is definitely not a goer. Um, unless you are working for about five pounds an hour, which if you're an electrician, you're working for five pounds an hour, um, you should better change your job. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm getting there. It's gonna be nice and neat. And I mean, this is about as easy as a board change gets, to be honest, you don't really get much easier than this. Um, chunking in the top to make it nice and neat. There's a few cables going in the back as well here. Obviously, I'll put some fire sealant in the back of that. Um, these tails aren't going to be long enough, so I'm probably going to have to put some new flexi tails in. And this earth bar is not really great. The screw snapped off there. So I'm going to have to just put a new earth bar in as well. Um, but, yeah. Could be much more difficult. So I'm going to carry on and see where I get to in another hour. Right, so it's two hours in now and um, pretty much done with connecting up. Got the new meter tails in, I just got to put the cover on the meter again and then um, everything is connected in and 
kind of neatly done, all talked up. So just got to do some testing now, basically, and then we'll be good to go. So in terms of timing, I mean, two hours is pretty good, to be honest. I've sort of learned something from this, which is that if you set ambitious goals, you might miss them, but if you aim big, you miss small, and you probably still do better than if you didn't set a goal in the first place. So I'm actually quite pleased with getting this done in two hours. I've still got some other remedial work to do at the property, but this was the main thing. And it's quite a neat job. I've not cut any corners or anything. Um, I've got a safety earth and electrical connection label to put on there. Um, then I've got to reseal the cutout fuse and meter with my sealing kit and just fill in with some fire sealant the hole in the back here. Uh, make sure this is all corked up as well and just everything's left nice and clean. Label it all up and test it and then we're done. So I should think by lunchtime I'll be, I'll be done, which is great really. All right, so we are pretty much done. So everything is in and connected, all dressed up nicely. Tails are properly clipped across to the meter. Everything's sealed up again. And I didn't replace that in the end because it was okay, but I've just put a label on it and redone all the connections basically. So um, yeah, good to go. I've also replaced a couple of outside lights and I have also um, tidied up some wiring for some switches and um, the central heating controller as well. Tidied all that up. So. All good, and we can issue a satisfactory EICR now. So that is it. I love these little labels for my brother label maker. It makes it really nice and neat as well. I also label the surge protection device up. So everything's labeled and good to go. Uh, a schedule of circuits will be provided digitally to the customer. Um, so that'll be done as well, and they'll have a nice schedule to know what, what everything is. Okay, so this is a little bonus jobby for you, right? Basically, one of the things that we picked up on on the ICR was under here, these cables, see that? But how the heck do you get the lid off this thing? It's just, it's been piped in, you know? They've done the wiring center and then they've piped over it afterwards. And it's just a nightmare. It's like a forest of pipes here. Absolute nightmare. I'm gonna try and get in there and get the lid off, but I'm not very hopeful, to be honest. Yeah, I've tried and there's just literally no way of getting in there at all. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of push the cables up into the box as best I can, and then secure them together with a cable tie. And hopefully that will stop them from pulling out again at least. So as always guys, if you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll hit a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.